Welcome to Richard Maybe Presents. Hello, YouTube friends. This is Richard Maybe with Richard Maybe Presents. It's Friday, July 12th, 2024 at 11.04 in the a.m. Um, I'll be putting this uh, episode up on Monday morning. And I said, you know what? Um, I'm always scurrying. Well, Sunday is so busy. Uh, Sunday, uh, I, I usually get to church by about nine in the morning, set up the um, sound system and everything like that. Sunday school is 930, then church is 1030. And lately, I'm not complaining. <laughs> I'm not complaining. Lately, we've been tending to get out um, 11.45 or so, you know. So then I got you know, I, I'm not, uh, even if I don't do the sound booth, like uh, the other fellow that does the sound booth, I, you know, uh, plus I'm an usher, so it's really busy. And so then uh, we have church again at 6 o'clock in the evening on Sundays. So we usually leave the house about 4.30. I try to get there half an hour early, do sound check with the singer and all that kind of stuff. So busy, busy. Sundays are really busy. So I said, you know what? This way I'll hit the weekend. It's like, it's like doing your homework Friday. M Mom used to say, uh, do your homework Friday right after school. And then you have the whole weekend, you know, you get home from school Friday. Scouts, Scouts was at 730. So you, you, you know, you do your homework work on your homework from whatever it was, 3.30 to supper time, then get up Saturday morning. Well, Saturday morning we have patrol meetings, but after patrol meetings, do your homework Saturday. And then you got the whole, the rest of, say you get done with your homework by two o'clock, unless you had a term paper or something like that. And let's get the whole Sunday to yourself. You don't have to worry. I'm the whole, my, oh my, oh my, oh, I got a book report too or something. Anyway, um, my cousin Bruce maybe gave me this book. The American Boys Handy Book. And I started reading it again last night. It's just a wonderful book. It is the, I believe it's the precursor to the Boy Scout Handbook. Um, this was in um, Bruce Maybe's, the homestead Bruce Maybe grew up in. Price $2 with nearly 500 illustrations. Uh, are you ready? Published in 1890. Published in 1890. Check this out here. Charles Scribner's. Look at that. That little paper fell out there. Okay, if you see that, see that or not. 1890. Whew. This book. So 1990, oh, 10, 20. This book is 134 years old. I love this book. I love, 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 love this book. It's just, uh... now, this is worth its weight in gold. Stephen H. Plum Jr., Christmas 1890. So he got it. Stephen H. Plum Jr. Now, that might be a relative of mine. You know how people, you know, like, that could be, like, maybe his mom, maybe Stephen H. Plum Jr.'s mother was a maybe. But I got to write Bruce Maybe. Check this out. Stephen H. Plum Jr., X Miss 1890. Whew, just think, you know, 134 years ago, Stephen H. Plum Jr. got this book for Christmas. I mean, that boggles my mind. Whew, and 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 here and here I am, a hundred, a hundred and thirty-four years. I mean, I'm just at random. Look at these. Look at look at these illustrations in this book. Look at this. 
this is this is real artwork. This is real literature here. This is a great, great book. Um, a phenomenal book here. Uh, let me see how many pages it is. Uh, four hundred and forty one pages. This is a, fiddle, a drawing of fiddler crabs. I mean, this book is a wealth of knowledge here. Look at this fiddler crabs here. This book is incredible. I love this book. Um, yeah, Bruce, maybe this is um, how to make a turtle kite. Look at this. Look at this. How cool is this? How to make a turtle kite. I'm telling you, this is a, this is a phenomenal, a phenomenal book here. Um, how to make a Robinson Crusoe, Robinson Crusoe um, cabin style, the framework for a Robinson Crusoe cabin style. This is this book is incredible. This book's amazing. Oh, I love this book. Oh. So anyway, um, I'm going to be reading more of this book. Uh, the American Boys Handy Book. Look at that. This book, my friends, this book is 134 years old old <laughs> how cool is that how absolutely wonderfully cool is that uh, i was just looking outside the window um and I, I i never know who is going to be watching me so i have to be careful but <laughs> it's uh, this is funny. The um, the folks that live across the street, house or two up. Well, the fellow that used to live there, um, he was always, you know, kind of bragging about, you know, his furniture was so much nicer than everybody else's furniture. <laughs> oh Lord, forgive me. Like I said, Hey, I'm going to use up a different, I'm going to use a different name. Hey, Sam, how you doing? You know, did I ever tell you I got the best furniture on the block? <laughs> well, they are, they left about, 20 minutes ago, we have this outfit they call it um, uh, Blessings and Treasures or something like that. And basically, you know, you if you want to sell your furniture and on consignment, you, they put it in the store. And I, I don't know all the rules, so don't quote. I think they put it in for three months. If it doesn't sell in three months or something like that, then they lower the price, like that kind of stuff. So anyway... They came. Oh, they, came. they came. They came. It's like the guys. They the the blessings and treasures took the furniture out. So I guess they're gonna get new furniture. But it's so ironic. It's so Twilight Zone thing. What a great Twilight Zone episode, you know? This chap is always. Hey Lou. Hey 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 Sam. How you doing? Hey. Did I ever tell you I got the best furniture in, in, this, in the neighborhood? Um, so anyway, it's one of those things. I have here. I have here the one, the one, there was no carbon copy made, the one and only script from Beyond the North Star, my, the play uh, I wrote and produced 
and directed and portrayed my father's father, my paternal grandfather in this play, uh, Life Along the Morris Canal. Now, this scene never made it. This scene never made it because on the stage we had a, li a, a living room and a kitchen and I had a vision and then we had a, a vignette of a um, an outdoor scene, you know, with, along the canal. So they didn't have room to build um, a bedroom. And it was going to be two twin beds side by side for my grandpa Watson and his brother Earl. Incidentally, it was the ver the, the room that grandpa and granduncle Earl were raised in from, you know, early childhood, from, from the, you know, uh, when grandpa grandpa was older, but um, that bedroom was the very same bedroom that I grew up in from kindergarten and all through. I, I went to community college at first, so from from kindergarten to um, from kindergarten to uh, community college, and then I went away to school, but and then community college. Uh, I slept in that room pretty much every night or, you know, except going away somewhere or something like that. So, um, at any rate, here's the, this is the only page of that scene that we, we had to cut because we, we couldn't fit a bedroom on the stage. Earl is, of course, my great uncle Earl. And he was the one that was, uh, joined the United States Army and was killed in action in a foxhole, foxhole in France in World War I. Earl, I can't believe you'll be getting married tomorrow, Watson. Watson, it's hard for me to believe, I'll tell you that. Earl, if these walls could talk, huh? Watson, we've seen a lot together, ain't we? Earl, it feels like the beginning of the end in a lot of ways, Watson. I I, I kind of know what you mean, Earl. Me getting drafted, you walking down the aisle, the magic in Pa's eyes. It don't seem to be there no more, Watson. You noticed it too, huh? Earl, this old room. We'll both be saying goodbye to it. You getting married, me, and all, me going off to fight for who knows what for, Watson. Remember the time you fell off that old maple tree, Earl? Yeah, you looked as white as a ghost, Watson. All I could think of was, how am I ever going to tell Mom? Earl, that's right. It was your idea to go out to go that one more limb higher. Watson, yeah, one more limb higher. Earl, she's a good woman. Watson, thanks. I guess I'm pretty lucky. Earl, ah, luck ain't got nothing to do with it. You're a good man, Watson. I can't believe I'm getting married tomorrow. Earl, everything's changing. Watson, I heard tell there's talk the railroad may put the canal out of business. You and me, we're young. But Pa, good grief, that stores everything to him. Earl, he loses that. He might as well take the breath right out of his lungs. Watson, what are you going to miss the most, Earl? I don't know, maybe grandpa's stories, Pa leaning on the wall of the old store, watching us rig up a canal boat up the incline, and maybe the smoke. Watson, what smoke? The smoke coming out of the chimney at dusk, swirling high into the air, watching it form big white puffs as we walk up Maybe Lane at the end of the day. Watson. How about the smell of coffee? Waking up to the smell of mom making coffee in the morning. Earl. Always thought it would last forever. Living here in Beaver Town. 
working on the canal. I got this feeling deep inside my soul, Watson. I ain't coming back, Watson. Oh, come on, Earl. You're talking nonsense now. Well, you'll be back home in no time flat. And that's it. That's the... I don't have the pages before and I don't have the pages after. So, lawnmower guys here. All right, I'm going to sign off. Um, as always, thank you for watching. Um, uh, please subscribe. I have um, 720 subscribers. I need uh, 280 to start making money on YouTube, and I could really use the money to help pay for the med medical expense expenses, the cardiac procedures, the um, you know the catheterization and, and the scans and all that nonsense, and also for a lot of my some of my prescriptions. Anyway, um, the Medicare and the what do they call it the the rider or the uh, supplement didn't pay for everything. So please subscribe. Please subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I really, I really could use the help for the, you know, YouTube. So as always, thank you for watching. Stay happy, stay positive, stay healthy. This is Richard Maybe. Signing off. Mm -hmm.